So I'm here to tell you why a certain scientific railgun might be worth your time. Let's talk about it. I was looking for something different to watch, and so I decided to look in a different area of anime that I maybe wouldn't have considered before. This is where I found the series, A Certain Scientific Railgun. So of course like most anime, it's an adaptation from my manga and light novel, which goes by the same name. But something a little more interesting is that this series is actually a spin-off of Kazuma Kamachi's series called A Certain Magical Index. So right off the bat, I love shows that build a universe within itself and have other shows taking place in that same universe and have crossovers having one character in one series and another pop up in the other. Now I wasn't very familiar with a certain magical index, but we do get to see some cool crossovers with some characters from that series and we'll dive into that a little bit later. So our main character is Mikoto Misaka, who is a level 5 esper and utilizes electrical type abilities ranking her as the third strongest esper in Academy City. Having electrical abilities allows her to manipulate electricity in many different ways. She can cling to walls like static and of course shock people or distort other types of electronics. But her signature move is known as the Railgun, which allows her to shoot metal projectiles such as coins at high destructive speeds. Get it? You know, the show? It's called A Certain Scientific Railgun? Yeah, I don't know. That wasn't a very good joke. Yeah, One of her best friends is Shirei Kuroko, is a level 4 esper and also quite powerful herself. She has instant teleportation abilities and either teleports herself or teleports others. She can even teleport objects to different locations, even teleporting objects inside of objects. An example of how powerful her ability can be is when you watch her teleport glass from windows directly into structural beams of a building which allowed her to completely destroy a section of that building. Another personality trait of hers is she's quite obsessed with Mikoto and has a perverted crush on her and always, you know, kind of trying to do weird things and get her attention. Yeah. She also has two other friends, Ruiko and Kazari. They both are very supportive and will do anything to help Mikoto, but they don't really possess any powers of their own and help with more of the detective and administrative tasks needed. Now, the one character we would see reoccurring is Toma, who at first I had no idea who he was, but Mikoto would constantly try to fight him and use all of her attacks and abilities, and they would never land on him. It wasn't until later I realized he is the main character to another series called A Certain Magical Index, and he has this strange ability in his right hand and is able to negate supernatural powers like one's espers have, or people with magical powers. His ability is called Imagine Breaker, and because his ability can't be detected through normal testing, he is given the lowest esper rank, which is level zero. We really get to see Toma shine in season two, where he goes up against the highest rank esper in Academy City, Accelerator. And despite him seeming like an ordinary high school student, he consistently is canceling Accelerator's powers and slowly beating him until Accelerator finally just loses. What makes the show incredibly interesting and kept my attention was how different it was from typical shonen from shows like, you know, Naruto, Dragon Ball, One Piece, and, you know, so many others. This series feels more like a slice of life type of anime mixed with some awesome action sequences. The animation is really good and we get some nice clean fluid animation for the action sequences, which just makes the visuals that much more eye popping and keeping you engaged in what is happening. Since the show spends a lot of time also being a slice of life, you really get invested in the main characters and get to know them on such a personal level, making you really care about each and every one of them. You really feel the sisterhood that the four characters built with one another and how they will always do anything for one another. The series has completed two seasons so far, the first season called A Certain Scientific Railgun, and the second season called A Certain Scientific Railgun S. And the third season is airing right now, which is called A Certain Scientific Railgun T. So just make sure if you do decide to check this one out, then start with the one that has no letters at the end of its title. And each season is about 25 episodes. Another thing which is a more personal thing for me after visiting Japan, I got to enjoy the little nuances of the show. For example, we constantly see the characters at a restaurant called Joseph's, 
which looks exactly like a real restaurant chain in Japan called Jonathan's, which is an American style diner as seen in the show. I personally would go every few days to this restaurant because they would make this amazing iced coffee with tapioca balls. Oh, I need that right now, actually. Another thing that it really shines through is the characters' personalities. They all are quirky and have silly moments. The show is filled with a lot of comedy and wholesome moments as well. But then we are introduced again to the killer action sequences and watch Misaka show off her Esper abilities. So should you check out a certain scientific railgun? I think if you enjoy slice of life anime and also enjoy action or shonen style anime, then you will no doubt really love this series. The character development really shines through and makes you deeply care about each one of them. Though, if you are only interested in action and don't really care about anything else, then you probably won't enjoy this as the action sequences are not the main focus of this series and more of a nice cherry on the top. I'm just about to start digging into the third season and I'm excited to see where things go from here to see if Misaka and Kuroko strive for new heights and take on new enemies. I hope we get to see more of Toma as well and his cancel ability because despite him being ranked zero, he is clearly one of the most powerful characters on the show. You know what to do. Subscribe, click that like button, and leave a comment. Let me know, have you watched the series already? And what did you think about it? If not, will you be putting this on your list to check out? And also, who is your favorite character from the series? That's all for this one. I'll see you in the next video.